everybody, it's Cindy the Scrapologist. I hope you're doing great today. Do you have old ephemera that has dirt and dust all over it, maybe some old books, and you want to safely clean up these items? They're paper, so you don't want to use anything damp. Well, I'm going to show you a product that a lot of antique book restorers use to clean up the covers of their books and we can use it for our ephemera and old photographs as well. So if you're interested, stay tuned. our 200 year old house my husband and I have been coming across some incredible ephemera behind the walls under the floors it's been super fun um, we're done ripping things apart so I think I don't think we're gonna have any more treasures but um, this is just an example of some of the things that um, have been found from uh, this particular book is 1899 um, but the problem is that at one point before we bought the house there was a fire and so everything that I'm finding is just covered in soot and I want to clean it up and I have some old book covers that I think um, can really use a, a spit shine so, <laughs> so to speak um, this gorgeous cover I would really like to see if it can if I can brighten up this gold and clean it up a little bit I'm not sure how well this is going to show in the video but I'm going to show you the product and you certainly can can try it on your own and you'll you'll see better how how well it works so here's the product and I'll have a link um, in the description box below and it will be an affiliate link through at, at uh, for, through Amazon so I'll get a whole um, two pennies I think if you buy through my link but um, it'll just help you direct there a lot quicker just click on the link it'll take you right there but this is called Absorine and it's paper book and paper wallpaper cleaner it absorbs dust, dirt, smoke, and f um, dust, dirt, and smoke film. And as I said, antique book restorers do use this product from time to time. Now, the one that I bought um, that I'm going to link to below also comes with this rubber eraser um, that is a gentle sponge that can be used to uh, wipe off your delicate ephemera as well. Um, I usually just use this for a preliminary dusting so I might just get the pr whoops there I guess I need to fix that book. <laughs> don't worry we know how to do that don't we? So I usually just use this for a preliminary. Now I did try it on an old book that had a leather cover and it started taking the color off so this um, this is just something you do not want to scrub with this you just want to give it a light a light dusting this um, the only thing I don't know about this is how to clean it there's there's no instructions about that but it says you can use this for smoke covered walls soot around the fireplace uh, bricks and wood burning stoves uh, you know it gives a bunch of examples and then automotive you can use it on your seats and your leather um, and it's a vulcanized natural rubber made of latex so I guess if you're allergic to latex you don't want to get the sponge but let me show you the oops and that just landed in my trash can I better take it out before <laughs> before I because I'll forget and empty the trash with it in there <laughs> So, um, where was I? Oh, so, um, let, yeah, okay, let me, I got distracted. Let me show you the product. So it comes in this huge bin, which is a tub, which will last you forever. This is 15 ounces. And 
you just kind of glob it out and it really reminds me of Silly Putty and I wonder if it's a similar product because remember how Silly Putty you used to press it on comic books as a kid and lift it up and the image would be there so um, so yeah it's very easy and pliable and gentle so this is what it looks like there's not too bad of a smell to it. I'm real sensitive to chemicals, so this does not bother me whatsoever. But when I'm using it, I always close this back up because I can imagine that this will dry out very quickly. Um, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't really tell you how to store it, but um, yeah, I've just had it in this container for a long time, and it's fine. It's a uh, just make sure the cover's on tight. But anyway, um, so I just brush this with that rubber cloth and then you just take this and you scrub with it. I And I don't think that you're going to see the effect on this book. I have some other examples, but it's definitely cleaning up this gold. Um, I don't, it, I guess you can kind of see in the camera, you see how shiny this is compared to this. From here over, I've already done, and here I haven't. And um, it's, it's definitely beautifying this and taking off years and years of dust and who knows what else. Now, it does leave behind some crumbs. You just kind of blob them up and then I I like to use the gentle rubber eraser just to get the little crumbs off that's gonna happen so um, yeah you probably can't see the difference you'll have to trust me on this one but let me show you um, this so um, again I hope this is gonna show but I'm just going to do let's see somewhere where you'll be able to see the difference. Um, let me just try right here. Yeah, I think you're going to be able to see that. See, look at that. You can see, you can see that it's picking up all this icky soot and a hundred years of dust and everything else and it's going to it's cleaning this up so well. I'll pick up the little crumbs later, but can you see the difference? So I cleaned the side on this side of the tear and look, look at the difference. And this is going to be beautiful once I fix it and um, clean it up. And I'm going to do this page. This is all, so let's just try it on this is very thin paper. Let's just try it here. Whoops. Let me hold that down. Look at the difference. Oh my goodness. Look at that, you guys. And it's not, it is not affecting the ink at all. This one I'm going to have to probably throw away pieces of it, but that's okay. I have plenty use my little rubber eraser even the rubber eraser oh look at that I sh probably should have done a little bit of that first so let's do that and then go in and clean even further and look how oh careful Cindy I'm just getting too excited <laughs> look at the difference before and after. Now, there's really no other way that I know of to clean paper like this without damaging what's on there. So, um, I'm really happy with the results that I get when I'm cleaning up paper and postcards. And I did clean this one. This is actually a calendar from 1899 that was found in our wall 
and it has a front and a back to it. I'm getting stuff all over it now. Um, and this is available as a freebie in my Flickr account if you want to go over and, and get this. It's one of a kind. I'm sure you won't find another one anywhere. And then here is, let me just clean up a little. This is a, a, a magazine. Somebody cut this out of a magazine and then and then put it on like um, a chipboard, almost like a cabinet card material. You can see where the tape or the glue used to be. And um, so let's give this a try. We'll just get the the dust off first. And this might be just yellowing from age because this was not found in a section where there was fire, but let's just try it. It's not, this stuff is not going to remove age and patina. It's not what it's about. And I don't think you're going to be able to see that, but definitely the color is starting to pop just a little more but you know what For, with this one I'm probably I think I'm happy just using this this rubber sponge so um, I hope you're excited about this I, I know I love the way it works on paper and ephemera um, I've used it on on old postcards it's um, it's just a fabulous product, and like I said, it's it's um, it's a tool that book restorers use and have in their arsenal. There are other ways, I'm sure, to restore paper and delicate items, but this is my favorite. So um, I'll put the link below for the product. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you try it. And I thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and the like button and subscribe because it helps my channel to grow and be seen by other people that might be interested. That's my quick tip for the day. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!